Most of us street photographers love to go out and shoot the streets. And when we're starting out, the learning curve is steep and we're learning and developing at a rapid pace. And we're also being stretched to the max of our abilities. But there comes a time where our learning starts to slow down and we might hit a plateau. And when we hit a plateau, we tend to get the same photos over and over again. We tend to go to the familiar places and stay within our comfort zone. So how do we stay in a constant state of learning when it comes to street photography? It goes without saying that it's essential to challenge yourself in street photography and also push your boundaries of your skill set and creativity. So today I like to offer a few ways to stay off that plateau. Drawing inspiration from a various set of sources can really help you fuel your creativity and keep you going day after day. Go to a museum or attend exhibitions. I often go to museums to feed my soul some great art. And when I go, I really come back energized and also full of inspiration and ideas. But sometimes when I go to museums, I just go for people watching. So basically just looking at other people admiring great art, which is also really fun. And just come back home and let it sink in. And sometimes inspiration strikes and sometimes it doesn't. But that's okay because I already went out and experienced something different. Read books that can help unlock your creativity from a different perspective. So in one of my vlogs, I mentioned that I haven't picked up a book voluntarily for a decade and that is still true. And going into 2024, I suddenly started to read a lot of books and this is actually one of the things that I missed a lot because of my very busy schedule. So now I read on average a book a week and I've drawn so much inspiration from so many good books recently. And in that vlog episode, I mentioned a few books that really helped spark my creativity and also inspired a lot of these video I make for this channel. So you can check out that episode. I'll link it in the description description. Follow in the footsteps of other street photographers by looking through photo books and photo books is a great way to get visually inspired. So this is different than physical books because when you flip through different photographs, you really get your creativity going or at least that's how it works for me. And I sometimes wonder what the photographer was thinking taking that photograph or whatever is happening in the photograph and really try to immerse myself in that. Immerse yourself in movies or TV shows. I think this is such an underutilized source of inspiration and there is a wealth of inspiration to be found there. And the idea came to me because I follow a few colorists on YouTube because I color grade my own footage. The one thing that they often mention is that they draw inspiration themselves for a particular project by looking at movies. And I started to do that also for myself and I really found my style, but essentially there's a wealth of inspiration to be had while you're just watching a great movie. Collaborate with other artists and collaborating with other artists or street photographers is a great way to introduce a dose of fresh perspective or inspiration. Maybe you know a street photographer you can meet up with once in a while. I did that also when I was starting out with street photography and it helped me immensely because we could really feed off each other's energy and really just spar and really energize each other. And I did it for a long time until I decided that I wanted to venture out on my own. But there are many benefits to collaborating with other street photographers. Another way is to collaborate with artists and I'm not talking about photographers in general. I'm talking about graphic designers or singers or dancers or what have you. So the idea here is to look at things differently. So look at what the artist is doing, their way of working and their flow. And that in turn can give you inspiration and also maybe come up with new ideas for your own art. Make mistakes. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. I think this is such a vital process of becoming a street photographer is to allow yourself to make mistakes. And I think this is one of the things that a lot of new street photographers are afraid of, you know, to fail or make a mistake and not be able to recover. And I think as long as you think about mistakes as your progression towards the next step, I think you're good to go. And But if you don't learn anything from your mistakes, I think we have something to worry about. I made plenty of mistakes when I was starting out. I often had blurry photos or out of focus photos. I couldn't really control my settings because I didn't have the basic understanding of the exposure triangle. So it was very hard for me to course correct. So until I sat down and really understood what the exposure triangle is, so understanding the basic principle of how a camera operates, I was really able to move on from my mistakes, but since then I made plenty of other mistakes. So it's a natural part of learning and developing. So don't be discouraged and allow yourself to make a mistake once in a while. 
Use a logbook or notebook to track your overall progress and keeping a notebook where you log your thoughts or just your progress or milestones is a very powerful way of tracking progress over time. And recently I started to keep a notebook myself. So it's actually a pocket notebook that I carry with me everywhere. It's a great way for me just to note down my ideas or thoughts. And the way I use my notebook is when I come home from a photo walk, I often have an idea of what I saw, what I perceived, some thoughts. So I spend 10 minutes noting down my thoughts. And if I look back on my notes that are more than three months old or six months old, I can really see my progression over time. But that progress can be really hard to see from day to day. So basically sometimes I feel that I'm not progressing at all but that notebook really helps to set things in perspective so I can really highly recommend to keep a notebook to track your overall progress push yourself out of your comfort zone so this is a classic technique that I apply from time to time and it's really beneficial and it's also really good if you really want to push your boundaries and also allow yourself to develop and grow as a street photographer and not only does it keep you on your toes, but also it shocks the system and you stretch to the max and you're really thinking what just happened. And sometimes it's a good feeling and sometimes it's not. But the idea here is just to allow yourself to go there and see what works and what doesn't. Stay open-minded. To stay open-minded is actually a bit harder than you might think. And that is because most of us, we are set in our ways and we like to do things in a certain way. And years ago, a friend of mine, or maybe it was a colleague who said I needed to be a bit more open-minded. And my response was that if I stayed more open-minded, my whole brain would fall out. And it just showed that I wasn't really open-minded back then. Being open-minded is not all about learning new things or trying out a new technique. It's also about being open to feedback and allowing constructive criticism from others. Being open-minded enough to adapt and evolve based on that feedback or constructive criticism that you got from others because it will help you immensely as a street photographer in the long run. Be your own critic. So this is a great way to really push your boundaries in terms of your photography journey by being your own critic. As I mentioned before, the other options are staying open to feedback and also allow constructive criticism to also push you. But sometimes being your own critic just does the trick. So basically this is a mental exercise when you're trying to be your own critic. And when you look for the three things that I mentioned, it's just all about what you find necessary. So often I look for composition, I look for lighting or maybe a different angle. So the basic idea here is that you're armed with a lot of information now to really try to improve the next time you go out and take a photo. Forget the tips. Yes, controversial, I know, especially coming from me. Tips are really great to get you motivated and out on the streets. But once you're out on the streets, it's just about you and your camera. So try to connect with the streets, try to find your own rhythm, try to find your own style, and most importantly, try to find your own joy. I hope some of the tips I gave you here can really help you off the plateau of stagnation. They really helped me. And it's all about progression, not perfection, right? Take care, see you in the next one.